there were no astronauts when I was growing up. Uh, I thought of aviation a little bit. It was exciting to, to look at airplanes flying around, but really uh, didn't have that as a, a goal. One thing that should have clued me uh, early on in uh, where I was destined to uh, end up at least uh, in a technical career, in elementary school we had a thing called the rhythm band. I was in Biloxi, Mississippi, going for elementary, and the rhythm band uh, used three instruments. Uh, the ones that weren't so talented uh, were given two sticks to beat together. Uh, the ones that had a little more uh, musical aptitude uh, were given a little triangle they held and a little metal thing they dinged around in the triangle. And if you really uh, looked like you had aspirations to become a star, you were given a tambourine to uh, beat on. And I didn't realize until sometime later, uh, they ended up, uh, the teacher uh, gave me the job of being the band leader. And the reason is, uh, as a band leader, all I had to do was stand in front and announce the next song at the PTA meetings or whatever, and then turn around and wave a baton, which nobody paid attention to because they were all watching the teacher, because I couldn't keep in rhythm with any of the instruments. So I did learn along the way, I, I enjoyed math, things like that in school. And uh, that led me to uh, later, really through the military training, to get into flying and become uh, an engineer and a test pilot that led, led me down the path uh, to become an astronaut.